Hey everybody, this is Tim from the Tupperware Boys from TupperwareBoys.com and today I'm going to show you our mandolin and this is um, a slicer, a dicer and all kinds of things. So let me show you what this is all about. It comes with the uh, straight blade here and it also comes with an attachment that you can pull out from underneath which has the wedge attachment so you can make waffle slices or crisscross slices as well. So I'm going to show you both of those. Um, I'm also going to be using our silicone baking mat. We're going to be making some potato chips today and we're going to be using regular potatoes and putting them in the oven. Now the silicone baking mat is great because it's not going to stick to it. It's also not going to allow the uh, whatever you're cooking to stick to your pan. So you're going to have nice clean baking items. Um, so we're going to use that for um, our potato chips today. All right, so if you look on the side here, the side knob here has a dial so that you can raise or lower the platform so that you can um, determine what size of the wedges that you are, or slices that you are wanting to make. Um, so as you can see, it's on the zero or lock position. As I move that up, you can see the level is raising. So I can make, make the slices as big or as skinny as that I want them to make. Um, so let me just put them on a, let's do a three, and that will give us a nice size little slice there. Um, also, there is a lock button here, and you can either raise that or lower that to a, um, a six, which brings up the smaller grooves, or a nine, which brings up the wider grooves. Now, these are also blades, and they, they can be used for dicing your products. So it makes a great hash browns or anything else that you want to dice up, you know, celery, carrots, anything like that. So we're going to make that back to the flat so that we're going to use the flat blade and we're going to make some slices here. I'm going to show you some uh, lemons first. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you what we have with this. We're going to be using, I have uh, some lemons here that I've taken out of the refrigerator. And this is our Fridge Smart. Now the Fridge Smart system is something that's going to keep your fruits and vegetables up to four to six weeks depending on which product you're uh, using which vegetable or fruit um, on the front here there is a little uh, graph that tells you what fruits are breathers at what different levels so for instance a broccoli is a high breather so the broccolis are going to need a high level um, there is a dial in the front so you mark that onto the high there's also uh, items like strawberries or celery that are no breathers or very low breathers, so you want to put those in the low. And there's also items from the middle, too, that you want to mark um, so that they are breathing at the right consistency. Um, also on the inside, these have been redesigned, so they have pools in the bottom, so they actually are collecting any moisture. Um, water or moisture is what starts the decay process so you want to make sure to store your fruits and vegetables dry and dirty so you put them in there s select the proper level that you're gonna put uh, in your refrigerator and then they all stack on top of each other so the air is uh, available to breathe all the way around it so I'm going to um, and this is the medium deep um, this one is the medium uh, I'm sorry the small uh, shallow dish all right, let's go ahead and slice up some lemons using our mandolin. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a, I have a couple of uh, lemons here, so I'm gonna take one of these. And you always wanna use the guard. The guard is gonna protect you from cutting your fingers. So you always wanna use the guard um, so that you're not slicing your fingers instead of the fruit. So um, you wanna go ahead and stick that in. There's prongs in here. If it's a larger fruit, there's also prongs on the outside, so it's going to grab onto whatever you're slicing. So we're just gonna put this in here you'll notice the top of it raises up and then I'm going to just slice down and uh, make some great slices. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and grab onto the edge here. The end has a little handle so you can hang on to it and let me go ahead and hang on to that. I'm just going to go ahead and hold on firmly and slice right over the blade. And as you can see it fell off the bottom so I'm just going to make this uh, several smooth movements and make several slices here. I'm also pushing down on the red button that is pushing the fruit down so that I'm going to get even slices every time. All right, so that is 
perfectly sliced lemons. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in my lemon keeper here. All right, so let me go ahead and show you how thinly we can do potatoes. All right, so now let's go ahead and make some uh, hash browns. So uh, with that, we're going to dice up uh, potato. You can also dice onions with this or anything else and it makes the perfect little cubes. So what I've done is I've moved the um, center blades up to a number six so it's going to be the small blades and I've moved this over to the number six so it's going to be the uh, the second to lowest um, slice as well. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Um, so with the dicing you're going to slide up which slides up the blade, you're going to turn it and then slice down. Slide up, turn and slide down, just like this. Go up, turn and slide down. Go up, turn and slide down. And as you can see, I have perfectly cubed potatoes and that will be great for making a hash brown. Um, if you wanted to dice an onion, that is just perfect looking. It gives the perfect little uh, cubed um, every single time. So let me just move the blade up to the higher level so you can see what the higher blade looks like. And then this is uh, bigger chunks. So you have the bigger chunks or the smaller chunks, whichever you prefer. So it makes both of those. Great for onions, great for celery if you're making it for a chopped salad, um, all kinds of you know carrots, whatever you want to chop and slice. So this is a great tool for that. All right, so let me show you how to make some french fries. So we have uh, the blades set on the smaller blade. Um, which we are going to use to make the french fries. Um, just take the potato and put it, put it sideways. So we're going to use the long part of it So because we want the long french fries. Um, so let's go ahead and just hold onto the handle, hold down on the red button, and then we're going to slice just like we did with the slices. And as you can see, we have some great looking potato, French fried potatoes. So you can either fry those or baking, bake those on the silicone baking mat. You can also turn up the dial so that it's using the larger blades and that way it will be a uh, larger size, but um, this is the perfect little size for a French fry, about the size of McDonald's French fries. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and change blades and use the waffle blade so that we can show you how the waffle function works. Um, the blades just pop right out, so you just pop out and pop in the new one. And then we're going to make sure the center blade is at a zero, so there's no center blade. And the waffle is, um, let's do a, uh, let's do maybe a two. Um, to make some thin cut waffle chips. Um, so we're also going to take the potato. And let me just get a couple of these started here. So if you want just plain uh, ridged like ruffles type potatoes, potato chips, you can use that function. Or if you want to do the twist motion, so you do down and then turn and down again and turn and just keep turning, you are going to get a waffle effect. So as you can see, it's now a waffle cut. So let me go ahead and um, let's take this blade off and we're just gonna make some regular old potato chips. So let's go ahead and put the regular blade back in. And let's turn this up to maybe a three, so we get some nice thin potato chips. And let me just go ahead and make several slices here.
All right, so let's see what these look like. So those are still pretty thick, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and use these anyway. So um, let me go ahead and make some more potato chips, uh, but let's make them a little bit thinner. All right, now I'm going to move the blade down uh, to a number one. Um, that way we can have, have some very thin sliced uh, potatoes for our chips. So let me go ahead and put the potato in the guard and just make some uh, very thin slices here. So look at this. Look at all these slices that we've gotten. So we got all kinds of potato chips and we are now ready to um, start s separating these out for some potato chips. All right, so I've kind of uh, spread out all of the potato chips on the silicone baking mat on top of a cookie sheet so that they're not gonna stick. Um, what I'm gonna also do is pour some, um, some olive oil over the top of them so it gives them a little bit extra baking uh, ability. Um, now this is our counter escape so these are also available in our catalogs. Great for oil and vinegar and they uh, sit right on your counter. Um, so let me go ahead and drizzle a little bit of oil here. And then I'm going to take our classic salt and pepper shakers and take some of this salt and just lightly salt over the top. All right and then I'm going to go ahead and stick these in the oven and uh, we'll see uh, how they turn out. All right, the potato chips have just come out of the oven, uh, and now I'm gonna put in the batch of french fries, so this is gonna go in next. Uh, but let me just show you what the potato chips look like. Um, they look nice and, and baked, and they are delicious. Tastes good to me. So, I hope you stick around for my next video, and like my son Tyler always says, like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.